Hey guys, it's Colleen and today I'm going to share with you my September hits and misses and honestly I can't believe it's already October, like September just whizzed right past me and um, yeah, I'm really excited about October, it's getting a little bit cooler here and I get to wear all my sweaters and scarves and whatnot, but also October, um, my birthday's in October so I'm really excited about that as well, but I do have quite a bit of products so let's get started. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is nails and something that I discovered this month is something that I am in love with. It is the Zoya 3-in-1 Formula Nail Polish Remover and um, it says it's a polish remover, nail cleaner, and nail prep. Um, I mean this thing is wonderful. It doesn't smell like nail polish remover or acetone at all. It kind of smells like eucalyptus or something really herbally which is really pleasant when you're using it and also um, it has this pump system so you don't have to like tilt it over you just put your cotton pad on top and then press down and um, the product will go onto the cotton pad so that's really convenient um, I think this was around 10 bucks but usually um, I got it at Ulta so usually they have like a three dollar fifty off ten and you can use it on this Going along with nails, I have two Butter London polishes, and this one is in Trout Pout, and this one is No More Weighty Katie, which is kind of like an homage to um, Kate Middleton waiting. She waited like 10 years before she got married. So this is No More Weighty Katie, and I have it on my nail right here. It's just a kind of like a grayish purple with, ooh, it kind of smeared. But um, yeah, it's a grayish purple with lilac glitter in it and the glitter is really noticeable but yeah this is a great color for fall and um, yeah I've been enjoying this color quite a bit the next one is Trot Pout which I'm sure you guys have seen quite a bit on YouTube because I don't know people just seem to love this color I love any color of this family kind of like a corally pink but it looks like this um, I really do love the color a few things that I don't like about Butter London polishes um, one, they're expensive, but I got them buy one get one free, so it wasn't too bad. Um, also, the brush is really big. I have small fingers, and so I need a brush that's a little bit smaller, kind of like the Essie brush. Um, but the Butter London polishes tend to be a little bit too big for my fingers, and so they'll smear, um, they'll have a tendency to smear. And also, I don't like the formulation of the creamy colors. I have Trout Pout and then I also have Teddy Girl which is um, a really light you know bluish pink but they don't spread on too well and they tend to have a little bit of streaking. If you do have a great top coat like Sesh Feet um, you know you can kind of smooth it out with that but yeah I just find that the Butter London polishes streak quite a bit and they don't apply on evenly so I'm not crazy about Butter London polishes and I don't think that I will repurchase them um, anytime soon unless there's you know a color that I'm absolutely crazy for so that is it for nails I think I'm gonna go on to lips and I have a few lip products as well um, the first one is the Victoria's Secret Minty Kiss Lip Shine and it just is a clear minty lip gloss it's uh, it's not shimmery it doesn't have any shimmer it's just you know your regular um, shiny clear lip gloss but it smells really good and it tastes pretty good as well so I'm liking that and it but it is a little sticky so I don't know I don't tend to use this too much unless um, you know I just really want a glossy shine but one that I've been loving is the Kiehl's Balm number one in the flavor mango, and I love anything mango, um, so you know, I was totally on board for this. One thing that I don't like about this is the app, or well, it's not even an applicator, but it's one of those screw caps, and it's not even like one of those slanted applicators, so you can't just put it on your lips, you have to put it on your fingers. Um, but it's one of those petroleum jelly type lip gloss, or not lip gloss, lip balms, and so it's a little bit greasy on your fingers, so you have to wash your hands afterwards, but um, this isn't sticky at all. It does leave a nice um, sheen to your lips, but it's not like overtly, you know, shiny like this one. I wouldn't recommend these for guys because the shine is kind of noticeable, but it smells really good and um, it really does help protect your lips and moisturize it really well so I do recommend this so moving along with lips I have three of the L'Oreal caress lip 
color lipsticks and these are fairly new from L'Oreal I think they came out about a month or two or sometime recent um, but the claim to these is that they use 50% less wax and so you don't get that really like creamy waxy feeling that you can get um, from other lipsticks they glide on really nicely it's nice and shiny it, it has a noticeable shine so you don't really have to put lip gloss on top of it it's really lightweight on your lips and it smells good too it smells kind of like uh, I don't know something fruity but it's super prominent so if you don't like you know scented things too much you might not like this um, but it reminds me a lot of the YSL Sheer Volupte Candy I don't know what it's called from YSL but here's Cardinal Plume and then I have which one pink cashmere which I don't like this one too much because it's kind of like a blue base pink um, and that just doesn't look really good but yeah the color on the bottom doesn't really match what's here but it's a really shiny like bright pink so there's that. And then the last color that I have is one that I absolutely love. It's great for everyday wear and it's just a really nice kind of like, I don't know, yellow based pink. But it's, it's almost coral, not really, but it looks like this. And as you can see, the pigmentation of it is pretty good. Um, it is a little bit sheer, but definitely buildable. So the next thing that I have is the Lorac, or Lorac, not sure how you pronounce it, Front of the Line Pro Eyeliner, and this is in the color black. And here's how the tip looks like. It is one of those felt tip-ish brushes, except it's very flexible, so it's more of like a brush rather than um, one of your stiff, uh, what do you call it, tips. You can make super thin lines with it, but just... If you're not very careful or not very steady with your hands, you might not like this too much just because the tip is so flexible. Um, I do like this. This isn't the blackest black and you definitely have to go over a few times in order to build up the black. But yeah, I find this really easy to use. I do prefer the Stila one a lot better um, just because the tip is a little bit stiffer. But overall, this is not that bad. I got it on sale for like over half price off at Ulta during their 21 days of beauty sale so you know it's not too bad but it is really expensive if you buy full price it's $23 I believe um, so I don't really recommend this if you're looking for a good high-end liquid liner I would definitely go for the Stila one but yeah I have been liking this so the next thing I have is a concealer and it is the body shop I think it's like all-purpose concealer or something like that but it's the stick concealer that they have um, and it looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has kind of like a lipid core in the middle. So um, what it's supposed to do is provide extra moisture and, um, you know, gliding ability on your skin. The outside actual concealer, it is a little bit on the drier side. So, you know, if you're going to use it, I prefer to use it on my hand, like put my finger on and then you know dab it on where I need to rather than putting the stick directly on my skin just because I want to be able to warm up the core in the middle so you know it makes it a lot more creamier but if you were just to use the outside it is a little dry and it can look a bit cakey um, but overall I have been liking this concealer I do use it underneath my eyes and then around my nose or any dark spot that I have but um, I have the color number two and um, yeah, I've been liking this. I, I'm not crazy about it, but this is pretty good. So while I was at the body shop, I also picked up their new fragrance. It is Vineyard Peach, and I have it in the shower gel, I have it in the body lotion, and I also have the body butter, but I like left it somewhere. This thing smells absolutely amazing. I love anything peach, so... You know, I was I went a little crazy when I found out that they were going to release a peach scent, but um, I am gonna do a giveaway. I I bought like a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm gonna give away um, the whole set shebang to you guys um, sometime soon. But yeah, this smells like real peaches, and if you've ever smelled some of the stuff from Bath and Body Works, like I think Market Peach or um, Peach Bellini, it doesn't smell like real peaches. 
this thing actually does smell like real peaches and it smells like fresh peaches that you just picked out of the orchard or whatever you call it but yeah it smells super good and I highly recommend you guys you know go check it out at the body shop but been loving this and so yeah I think that's all that I have um, be on the lookout for my peach giveaway sometime soon and uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later bye